Well, uh, here we are again, and as you can see, I've got the uh, supply pulled apart now. Um, there were a couple of problems with the front panel as well. Um, it looks like there's something gunked up on the actual encoder knob, so I'm going to actually take that apart now. But there's actually definitely an issue with one of the ch uh, channel one in here, so we're going to fix that as well. I've ordered a couple of, well, actually, I ordered a, uh, parts from DigiKey. Uh, they should be coming here tomorrow. And essentially, it looks like it's the uh, main pass transistor, or maybe both main pass transistors. There's one that sort of uh, shunts to the negative rail and uh, or ground, and there's another one that you know actually uh, regulates the current and whatnot and voltage. So um, we're going to go take a look. Uh, actually, we're going to go ahead and replace both of them. So I'm going to have to pull that completely apart. The board, it's the the, the offending part is on the bottom board, so we're going to end up flipping upside down and pulling that board out completely. So we're just prepping for that now. I've uh, cleaned all the dust out of it, so it's a lot better. Sorry about that. Um, but I figured I'd turn the camera on while I uh, went ahead and uh, tried to pull this apart. So I'm just going to go and jump in close to here. And uh, this is the first time I've ever pulled apart an encoder so to try and clean it. So we'll go ahead and try and figure out and see if I screw something up royally or if uh, this actually works. So there are four tabs here. You can see them. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove them. I've already started removing one. So I'm just going to go my hand, sorry about my hand. It's kind of in the way. Try and do this out. Get in the way. Like that. Ooh, nice. That's what I don't want to do. Don't want to, I don't want to force these so much that they torque right off. There we go. And so definitely what you want to do is you want to angle the screwdriver off the case here so you can put just the right amount of force on there and not have to put too too much. Aha. Excellent. So I don't know if you can see that. Oops. Uh, hello, yeah. There you go. So those are encoder knobs, and they're mechanical encoders, they're not optical. You can see the contacts right around there. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just try and clean off those contacts and let's see if we can't oops, let's see if we can't get in a bit closer. Uh, isopropyl alcohol and I just clean just the tip of these. I don't I don't know if I want to clean um, anything here. I don't actually have the grease that's in here. And I suspect there's probably some sort of uh, ele electrically conductive, uh, or at least some non-conductive, or some sort of grease here that's a bit special for these sort of uh, mechanical encoders. So I'm not going to touch that, I think. I'm going to leave that well alone, and I'm just going to clean the contacts here. It could be that the actual, uh, the actual contacts on here, that's a bit better, um, are actually... You can't see that. Oh, there we go. Could be these contacts here will need a bit of uh, a bit of work um, too. But I'm gonna just ignore that for the moment because I hope that that's not the problem. And we'll see. So we go. We give ourselves a Q-tip. Find our IPA. Okay, if we don't spill it everywhere, because that bad. Alright, and now I'm just going to go and lightly brush these guys here. Oh, as I say that, I snagged the Q-tip. Oh, that's interesting. So it looks like one of these encoder. It looks like one of these tabs is actually bent down. I don't think I did that. So let's see if I can't fix this. Better.
Yeah, that might have been me. It's possible. When I did the, uh, when I just brushed it just now. Just want to get rid of all the uh, stringy bits here. So the problem with Q-tips is they uh, tend to leave some junk behind. back together and hope the heck I didn't screw anything up haha -ha. <clears throat> right, so I'll assume that that's the way that that goes on and indeed uh, no, that should be okay we should we should be making contact there Do that. And go ahead and bend these suckers back in. be as tight as they were originally, which is unfortunate. Alright. Quick listen test. Sounds about the same. Alright. We'll go ahead and we will reassemble this. Um, I guess I'll give it a quick try. That shouldn't be that big a deal. So, uh, just before I do that, I'm going to just clean that off. Well, it's a couple of swabs. getting at the back of this anytime soon. Do a quick clean up here. So you know it's in reasonably good condition all considering there's basically just dust in here which you know hey life sucks and well there's dust involved usually so meh. Of course the front I can probably just clean up later on but while I'm here, and I have it all out in pieces. Okay. And uh, I saw this, uh, I had to pull, to pull this apart on the signal path, uh, so I'm not, uh, I definitely shouldn't be uh, viewed as having done anything fantastic or amazing in this regard. This is definitely uh, mostly uh, Shariar and his, uh, his work that he did on the signal path. So, that's in like that. I think it should just go right on, I think. Don't see why not. Okay. Catch caught and now it's locked in place. Uh, before we do that, just need to replace the washer and nut. Use the correct tool for the job, which is one huge pair of pliers. Uh, I do have a pair of, <coughs> or I do have a set of um, crescent wrenches and whatnot. Uh, yeah, meh. Just easier to do this way, so why not? 
won't over tighten this, just tighten it so it's nice and snug. Doesn't have to do uh, doesn't have to do much in a lot of stage, just to keep this thing from bouncing around in there. <clears throat> and the other thing is the last bit is this guy. This just snaps right into place. And what we'll do is we'll just uh, let this guy all hang out. As you do, I'll put the knob back in so this is easier. Uh, yeah, there we go. Go ahead and actually, there we go. Take the tips out like that. Okay. that was bad. Yeah, look at that. Sweet hot diggity darn. Alright, so. Alright, let's. Uh, that's not great. There, you can see that there's still some parts where it's skipping. So I'm turning this at a constant rate, so if this was working 100% perfectly, you'd see this moving in, or you'd hear it going at a constant rate, the tick would be constant. But clearly that's not the case. This is a bit better in this direction. I read on the forums, on various forums, that one of the ways you can bring these knobs back to life too is just turn them. Somebody said 20 times in both directions. I have no idea if that's true or not, but we can see that. We can see if it works a bit better. Uh, clearly it works less well in this direction. It doesn't seem to be jumping though, so that's not that big a deal. Well clearly that didn't work as well as I hoped. I think it's been maybe a bit better but <clears throat> not significantly better. So uh, I guess it'll be either back to the drawing board or something. Not sure. Cool. Anyway. Till next time where we're gonna go and replace the past transistors on this guy. <laughs>